Moving on, let's talk about this clip. This one's fucking crazy. This is an old school clip again, courtesy of the final kids. So I big up those guys because this is fucking a really great um, story, how it kind of ended. As the title says here, uh, Papa tells Chappelle he's not good enough to play with his boy Travis Barker, right? Which is a pretty shitty thing to do. This clip is pretty crazy because I don't actually remember this. This is back in the day when Brendan used to have um, Chappelle Lacey and Malik B be his co-host on the Fire and the Kid after Brian Callen got cancelled. He kind of brought these two guys on to kind of, you know, plug in the holes and shit. It obviously didn't end well because Malik B got fired and Chappelle ended up leaving because he knew Brendan was bad for business. But I completely forgot about this clip. I didn't know this clip existed, but this is pretty crazy. But it ends pretty well. Because Travis Barker's my boy. And Travis is one of the yeah, best Travis people did, I know. Uh, the... Travis is literally one of the best people on earth. And he fucks with him. So I got to imagine yeah. he is a good person. Thanks for that follow, Travis. <laughs> He's great. Yeah. That's my guy. In my room. Let me know if you want to jam. <laughs> okay, copy that. With the best drummer alive right now, you want to jam? <laughs> Well, well, wouldn't well, I? That would be awesome. Well, why not? When was yeah. the last time you jammed? Uh, like a full on band? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's been a minute. Probably uh, like 2000. Remember when I did it on stage? Um, yeah, just give that? me how many years ago. I think it was like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. a long time. He plays every day. Man, kiss my ass. That doesn't mean I don't know how to jam with a band. You, you play music, you play music. Play music. Man. You are kind you of. Can go, you can go, go into a gym right now and get some UFC shit going, no. can you? No. no. Wow. Wow. So big up Chappelle Lacey, man. He actually got to perform live with fucking Travis Barker behind him jamming. How amazing is that? Honestly, like the hate in levels from Brendan is just crazy. I, I actually didn't notice it watching about the clip, but the tension is pretty thick in it. It was always pretty awkward. I don't remember it being that awkward between them, you know, him and fucking Malik and Sh fucking Malik and Chappelle. I didn't remember it being that awkward between them and Brenda. Like, but the cultural differences between them and shit was just weird. <laughs> cultural, maybe it's just personality thing. But Brendan, this is why I always say, and again, this is just my own theory. And I, I think I don't have any fucking right to say this, but I'm just talking shit on the stream. This is why I think I have a feeling that brendan has an issue with black people it's just something about him like he just seems so uncomfortable around these guys it kind of felt like they were pulling teeth and shit like it was just weird you know even though they were you know two of the nicest you know black dudes you could probably could come across in that content space right they're not the most stereotypical quote-unquote black dudes in the world so he didn't even get the be worst example that kind of you know made him feel uncomfortable he just didn't really get them i don't know why it was weird but yeah, the hate he has for these guys is just bizarre, especially for Chappelle, where he just said he could never jam with Travis, even though he meant, again, did, did you see what well, was funny, the tension? Brendan's kind of name dropping Travis and saying, that's my boy. But Ch Travis Barker doesn't follow Brendan on social media. He follows Chappelle. And Chappelle dropped that and then Brendan's face was like, he, he, he did a bit of an eye roll. Let's play that one more time. My boy. And Travis, one of the yeah, best Travis, did, uh, I did the... Travis is literally one of the best people on earth. And he fucked with him, so I gotta imagine yeah. he is a good person. Thanks for that follow, Travis. <laughs> He's great. Yeah, that's Social my guy. Not real. Let me know if you want to jam. Okay. See the hate. Look at the hate on his face. That's pure hate on his face. How can Travis be your boy allegedly, and then so now he doesn't follow you, you know? But he's allegedly your boy. Because Brendan's story about fucking Travis Barker is fucking awful. You guys heard it, right? Where Brendan said um, he was driving down the street and some guy was tailgating him, you know, beeping him from behind. He didn't realize who it was. And then when they pulled up to traffic lights, it was fucking Travis Barker pulled his window down and said, hey, what's up, bro? And he started talking and he sped off again or something. Like, it's like, what? What? The lies this guy says is fucking insane. Um, what are you guys saying here? Travis is his boy... Eminem is his boy. Yeah, Tom Brady, <laughs> Jason Momoa. <laughs> Jason Momoa. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, oh my God, man. It's funny. Everybody's a fan of Brendan. Everybody knows him. He's that famous. Everybody's a fan of him. I don't know. 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 But yeah, big up Malik. Sorry, big up Malik as well, but big up Chappelle. Passed at the comedy store, performing with Travis Barker on fucking stage. Absolutely winning. Again, another example of when you leave Brendan Schaub, you go up and up, you know? Leave Brendan, you go up. It's like that saying people say, right? Go work, go broke. 
it's like leave papa go fucking rip, go upper or something right i don't know how to say it. what kind of what's, what's a rhymey thing leave papa go up or something right <laughs> leave papa go up um but yeah definitely something happening in the water there when people leave fucking brendan shaw their career completely turns over but yeah big up big up um Chappelle lacy still <laughs>